I'm doing a book review today. Um, so hello and welcome to Redmond Review. And this week I'm reviewing an e-book um, that I got free from BookBub, uh, A Family Affair by Mary Campisi. And it's part of a series about the Flaxworth family. So briefly, Christine Braxworth's father dies in a horrific car crash and she discovers that his monthly four-day sojourn to the cabin that he owns hasn't been for the reasons that he told his family, who were blissfully unaware that he was supporting another wife and daughter they know nothing of. Naturally, he can't tell, uh, she can't tell her mother about this. And so the book charts... Christine's story of finding her new family and the guilt she feels of finding she fits into her new family so much better than she fits into her own. Um, it's the characters that make this story. I mean, Gloria was beautifully drawn, um, harks back to a, a Dallas-type scenario, um, her social life and elaborate dinner parties, plus her dreadful treatment of her cook. Um, we discover props her up. It makes her feel safe to put on this persona. And while she doesn't actually like her, you do actually feel for her. Now, Christine's Uncle Harry is a, a bit of a likeable rascal, but he comes uh, becomes somewhat of a touchstone um, as Christine struggles to do the right thing by contacting her dead father's other family um, and, and finding that she not only likes her new sister Lily, but she also likes her new sister Lily's brother too. And there were a few surprises uh, around a few corners, um, even though at times it was a tad predictable. But then those of us who read and or write romance on a regular basis, we tend to know the storylines, we tend to know where things are going. The story could have easily fallen by the wayside with Christine in two totally different locations, two totally different personas, as she searched for a way forward in reconciling these two lives. But it didn't, and it was very well crafted. Miss Capizzi is an author I will continue to follow. I like her characterisations and the premise of the book, I thought, was a, a bit of a novel twist on an old story of a man who has an affair and a, a family um, that the wife knows nothing about. But I won't spoil the storyline for you in this instance and I'll let you read it for yourself. If you want to read it, there's a link below this video that goes direct to Amazon. And I give this one four hearts out of five for a cracking good read. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, it's great that you're interacting with me, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.